sa bansang Pransya. When I was in America, I stayed in two islands. First, I rented a house here, and then next time, another place. Oh, three islands, yeah. And the next one is another island, because the house is smaller, cheaper. I don't know how many islands I have lived on. I used to love islands. Taiwan is island. I used to stay in Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong island, yeah. England island, yeah. Italy is also almost an island. Spain is also almost an island. Yeah? And then Hawaii, and then another island in Miami. There's four, four islands altogether. Man-made island, a beautiful, very small. And where was I? Oh, so many uh, little islands. And then I went to those uh, small islands in, in America, like St. Kitts, St. John's, and Martin, those islands, yeah? And Cayman Islands, I also stayed for a long time. The uh, Virgin Islands, yeah? Yeah. And then, to, oh, I went to like, the Dominican Republic, the Dominics, and then uh, and the Philippines, yeah, they, they are islands. Mm -hmm. And Indonesia? Yes, and Singapore, oh, half island, almost island, yes. <laughs> and Penang, also islands. Huh? Hong Kong already told? Oh, don't, I don't forget. <laughs> I don't forget your island. <laughs> and then also Thailand, you know, uh, islands, Thailand, some smaller islands. And uh, oh, 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 I forgot, there are all sorts of islands. Huh? Japan. Japan. Yeah, I have a house in Japan. But it's all your brothers and sisters using it. When I was there, they, they come to group meditation. And when I'm not there, then it's completely their house. Yeah. <laughs> and wherever I buy, finally it's not mine anymore. <laughs> yes. Uh, right now, uh, some houses are still mine because you're too big. I can't fit in there, so I still have it. <laughs> Otherwise, I guess it won't be mine anymore. Yeah. And there, I also live in one island inside my land because there's a big, uh, big lake, you know? And I camp in one of the islands, a very small island, the, the Giz Island. <laughs> the island is in, in the lake. There were two, two islands on the lake. One is smaller, one is a little bigger. And the bigger is further from the house, so I stay there. And I also stay in one of the huts nearby. You know, I stay here and there and there. But I have a, a tent on the island. I also stay in the green island, in the middle of the center. Yeah, that's my house there. Yes. You remember my house, if you've been there? The small one? But it's a uh, deep lakes. <laughs> you know, the little wood house that they already made with a little attic on it? I sleep on top, my dog sleep downstairs, remember? So small, eh? It's like, almost like a tent. Yeah, like a double person tent. But you can call that just two stories, beauty. <laughs> <laughs> you know? The palace, yeah? <laughs> Upstairs and downstairs, huh? <laughs> You've been there, you know, right? Some of you have been to my island. Yeah, not that I didn't have house. I have a bigger house they built it. But later I use it for library, you know, for everybody to enjoy. And I stay in that small little island. It's not that small, you know. I have water all around it. It's a man-made. And uh, what was it? Maybe it's about 8,000 square meter? Or 800 square meters? Something like that, huh? Pretty small. But we have watermelon on it and <laughs> some... Uh, tomatoes, <laughs> you can burst up. You, you can plant things on there. And salad and stuff, beans, yeah, okay. Mm. However little land you have, if you live there permanently, you can always plant. Yeah, it tastes better, yeah, with your own hand, yeah. And as I told you, according to research, farmers are the happiest people. Mm. I guess the Bible also say that, that you must cultivate your food with your own hands, no? Yeah. All right. Oh, why I talk so much? <laughs>
Come back to the story, woman. <laughs> Everybody was excited, you know, longing to hear the Buddha sacrifice again. Why did I jump into Florida and... Hmm? Your story. Ah, yes? Yes. I was in Canada also for a while, and I also, also live in Ireland. <laughs> I just love Ireland somehow, you know, whenever I can. And when I was in America, I also bought a small island too. We didn't build anything, we just stay like in tent. And just a little wood set and using those environmental toilets, yeah, and use the water from the surrounding to drink. Well, then I don't know, I guess. I have uh, that one island and I made another island. <laughs> It's a small island, you know, this uh, natural and wild island. I don't know, at that time, I just keep looking for island, rent island, buy island, live on island, <laughs> you know, uh, with our dogs and birds and all. <laughs> and when I went to Croatia, I want, there's so many little islands, I wanted to buy an island there too. <laughs> all right, okay. Islands, Croatia, America, <laughs> Japan, Canada, Hong Kong, <laughs> Hawaii, yeah. Indonesia, oh man, the Philippines went all over the world now, and the story is not finished yet. <laughs> the Buddha keep waiting. <laughs> so the great master, Brahman, don't follow your angry mood, yes. Do not think wickedness in your head, your mind, uh, leave all the, the wrong concept, the wrong teaching, yeah, leave them, stay away from them. That is a true bodhisattva hut. Okay, that's it. Yeah, you know sometimes because the words make you stuck thinking, how can I translate it? But like when she said, you know, Noi hai le, it means two faces. You don't have to say two tongues. <laughs> but I'm stuck with the tongues. You see, how can I translate this? Two tongues, people don't understand. <laughs> see what I mean? Yeah, so I'm stuck sometimes with this, because I, I haven't translated for a long, 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 long time. Yeah? Okay. Mostly I don't read books for you. I just tell you what spontaneously, right? Most of the time like that, just like when I go preaching, I don't bring any book, nothing. I don't bring any note. There is no, uh, no teleprompter, nothing. Remember, whenever I go preaching, there's nothing there. I just say whatever come out, hmm? whatever I want to say. So mostly I don't read books to you. I don't translate. Yeah, now and then before, you know, and then. But rarely, huh? All right. After the uh, great master read these uh, noble stanzas to the would-be Buddha, and then he also finished writing, you know, the future Buddha at that time. After that, he used these phrases, yeah, to go all over the world to teach people to do just this. Actually, this is enough, you know. If all of us just practice just this, and then come couple with initiation, then you become Buddha in no time. A lot of time, but it's <laughs> but it's a no time compared to the poor Buddha. No, life after life, a lot of sacrifice, and many people because of this are blessed to be born into heavens or avoid the three wicked. Path meaning the hell, hellfire, and being born as uh, wicked animals, and being born as a hungry ghost. Yeah, because of this stanza, because of his teaching, he went all over to teach people. So many people are blessed with so much merit, yeah, like that. There's not finished yet. You want to hear more about Buddha sacrifice? Okay. It's good to remind you to appreciate bodies, you know, the human life, yes. Because look at the Buddha, you know, so sweet, so gentle person like that, and so noble in spite, 
is aspiring like that and still had to go through so much suffering in order to reach the ultimate enlightenment. So the Buddha, no, uh, the Brahman king said to the great heavenist, say, saying, Praise be the Buddha. May I remind you that the heavenist at that time, it was you. Yes. Because of your love for all beings that you sacrifice so much to search for the true teaching. So uh, terrifyingly, you know, so sufferingly, painfully, up to that much extent. So how, how can you leave the ignorant beings now and go into nirvana to enjoy by yourself? Yes. The re- he mean the reason you want to become Buddha, to attain the ultimate truth because of your love for beings. So you cannot just leave them now. That was the reason. Your love for all beings is your reason to become a Buddha. So now you became Buddha already, you can't just leave. But he said very politely, you know, humbly. It's not like he's a lecturer in Buddha or anything. He dare not. Yeah, of course. So he said, uh, Praise be the Buddha. I remember another lifetime. I don't know how many more lifetime here. Wow, lots, a lots, a lot. Oh, okay, okay. Another three pages. That probably six lifetime. <laughs> okay. In one of the lifetime, also on this planet, so the Buddha has been, you know, reincarnated life after life on this planet somehow, except when he had a lot of merit and became like one of the the gods in heaven, huh? Yeah. There was a king named uh, Thiti in uh, in the capital Debadbade. This country, all the citizen are very rich and powerful and prosperous, no? Yes. The king has, again, 84,000 <laughs> smaller subordinate kings, you know, like a federal or like, how you say, colonizing, yeah, kingdom. Or commonwealth, they say that in England. Huh? 84,000 commonwealth kingdom that he ruled over. And then uh, also a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, mountains, river, lakes, etc. Yeah. And he has also 8,000 tribes mm, uh, inside his own. Yeah. And the king has... Uh, Two million wives and concubines already, and you want him to have two billion? Oof, that's too much. Yeah, too much. The whole country cannot, you know, house them all, or the wives and you know kids as well, you know, and then uh, horses and cars to 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 transport them and food. <laughs> oh no no no! It's like the whole country then. So probably the whole country woman. Girls belong to him. Yeah, that's what it is. And then he has 500 prints only. So many wives, only 500 prints. Mm. And he has 10,000 court officials. Yeah? He is very compassionate, loving, kind king. He loves his citizens as if his own children. Now then, in heaven, chakra, God, data to chakra, right? His uh, merit, his uh, store of merit is running low now. Yeah. The natural flower that uh, decorates his head is already beginning to wither. Yeah, that means he's dying soon. Mm. If any of you have flower on uh, your head, <laughs> <laughs> I have some. <laughs> Not on my head, but nearby, and then they won't die ever. <laughs> so, you know, plastic, yeah, artificial. So he, his time was almost up. 
Yeah. So he was very, very sad. Yeah. So one of his attendants, Tay Thu Ma, saw that and asked him, Your Majesty, Your Holy Majesty. Majesty and Holy Majesty is different, you know, because he's holy. He's, he's, a, he's a, a god, huh? So they probably say, Your Godly Majesty. Recently, I saw your energy, your face. It's uh, very different from before, much less happy than before. Uh, what is the matter? Could you please tell me? Yes. So the Sakra God said, You don't know? You see, my flowers is withering. Death, the sign of death, is beginning to appear. My life it won't be this long, uh, much long now. And now on the earth, on the planet earth, there is no master. I don't know where to go to lean on. I don't know how, how to help myself now. If I, I mean, when he die, he would be dead on, and then reborn on the planet earth, you see, as a normal being like one of us. Maybe one of you was Chakra God before. Have you done anything wrong there? Huh? Trying to test the Buddha all the time? Watch it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> because when you're born again on earth, the Buddha will not look at you. No, I'm just joking. The Buddha will always help. Okay, so now I do not know where to take refuge. Yeah, so that's why I'm sad. Ah, I was thinking because he's dying, so he's sad. I was thinking he's attached to the throne of God in heaven, so he was sad. You know, Sakra is not a normal God, huh? He's the chief of God. Understand? The the top God, yeah? So he sits on the heaven and the throne, you know, I mean, whatever we call that, uh, to rule over many, many countless beings in heaven, eh? And all the smaller gods. So I was thinking maybe he was attached, you know, we were probably thinking he's dying, that's why he's attached to the position. But no, he was sad because there's no Buddha on earth, no enlightened master there. So if he's born in, uh, on earth, he has nowhere to take refuge, you know, to protect himself for future life. Because once his godly merit runs out, he becomes just like one of any mortal on the planet. And then if he has no master, then he has not initiated, he has no initiation. Then he will be reborn, reborn again, and wherever the wind blows, and then he has no protection whatsoever. Hmm? And then he might forget, you see, he might forget the goodness of being uh, a moral person. He might forget. Once you're born, you forget. Even though if you were a god, you're born, you're completely blind, deaf, and dumb. You won't remember anything at all in the past life. Therefore, you might do wrong, yeah? And then the situation in the world will push you to commit some bad deed, and then your status will be lower and lower. And then you might even go to a you know, lower uh, level, like bad animals, you know, and then from then even go lower, and then maybe go to hell, etc., etc., and never get liberation, or be born in heaven again. Oh, understand? Yeah, that's why he was very worried. He's a god, he should know. He should know all these consequences. Because once we're born, we forget. You see, any of you remember five precepts when you were born? No, no. <laughs> Ten commandments, maybe? No. All these Catholic, no? <laughs> you should have written it in your brain before you come out. <laughs> All right, so he was very sad. And then, Tito Irma, his assistant, tell him, oh, Your godly majesty, at the moment, in the worldly earth down there, there was one king who practiced bodhisattva, uh, way of life, yeah? Meaning compassion, loving, kindness, yeah? And uh, be good, yeah? Five precepts, huh? Ten commandments, for example, yeah. His name is Titi. 
His mind is iron. You know, he won't change. He's pushing forward on on this practicing of the goodness. Yeah, he will not waver. And he's very diligent in his practice. Yes. In the future, definitely he will become Buddha. Doesn't say when, because we have many lifetime after. So must, it cannot be tomorrow or, <laughs> or next year or the same lifetime. No. So it's in the future, oh my God! I also say in the future you all will become Buddha. <laughs> Happy, <laughs> hopeful. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. Please, Your Majesty, go there to take refuge in Him. Yeah. So in the future, you will be protected and fulfill whatever you wish to do. And then you will also uh, attain, you know, or honor and uh, position or richness in life. So you will have no problem. Mm. Even uh, richness, honor on earth as well as in heaven. Ah, so the Sakra God say, Oh, if it's as such as you said, then is it so lucky for me? But I have to go and test him to see if it's true or not. Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! Poor Bodhisattva, poor Master to be. Just such a disciple, I will kick him out. Tell him, go take aeroplane, go back to heaven. What kind of God? You see, this is a big God even. I mean, Astro God was still a great God, chief of all the gods. Chief of the th- 33 smaller gods in the astral level. Yeah? Astral level have 120 smaller levels. And he is a chief of one fourth of the whole kingdom heaven already. He still not know nothing. Uh, even have to uh, rely on his assistant to, to know where the Bodhisattva is. And then still cannot even read the, the heart of such a sincere Bodhisattva have to go down and test him. 